Hello, my name is Patrick Bowen with the Office of Distance Learning Professional Development. I would like to talk to you today about notifications and how that's going to improve communication with our students. So this is going to be a short movie uh, just to talk about a few of the things that we can do inside of Blackboard Learn to improve communication. So inside Blackboard Learn we have notification settings. So you um, or a student could be thinking like, how, why am I getting these emails? How can I stop getting these emails? I don't want to know about this stuff. It's This isn't helping me. So they're going to be feel negative towards uh, uh, Blackboard Learn and the course uh, information or community information they're going to be getting. So what the person sending the messages, hey, we are helping everyone. We're giving them all this information in there. It's going to help them be better in this course. It's going to help them be better in the community uh, that they're enrolled in. So the answer is help your students understand how they can adjust the My Notification settings so that they'll be adjusted to how they want to receive information. So what I want you to do is we're going to go into the new Blackboard Learn site and we can access that by signing into the queue, uh, clicking on the Employee tab, then we're going to click on the new Blackboard for Fall 13 page. Uh, in that page is uh, all different types of help available and we can also click on the Blackboard image at the bottom of the page to log into uh, the new Blackboard Learn site and we can adjust uh, my notification settings. So let's go log into the queue. So we've logged into the queue and what we need to do is look across the top and we're gonna have to scroll to find the employees tab. When we find the employees tab click on the employees tab here we'll find the new Blackboard for Fall 13 page. We got to click on that page. Here we're going to scroll down the page and find the Blackboard Learn logon icon. It's going to be easy just to click on this. There's also some information about help on this page. So here we can click on the Blackboard image and we'll be directed into the Blackboard Learn site. Here you can see that we're at the qccblackboard.com. I'm just going to raise this up out of the way. On the top there's a My Institution have the, the My Library, the My Help. Uh, we also have a new area content collection. If we hit this down arrow uh, we could be in the courses and there's a settings area. In the settings area we can hit personal information and here we can edit our personal information and click on that. We can add a cell phone number if we want a mobile number. I'm just gonna, I've already entered in mine. I'm gonna hit this drop down arrow again by our name and here I'm going to go to edit uh, that my notification settings area. And here this is where we can direct our students in here and we can also set these up. So there'll be different courses. There's courses that you'll be taking or courses that you are um, teaching. So if you click into a course you can see um, you know your mobile. I've signed in as the mobile and there's an announcement you can click on to see how to uh, gain access. Uh, test the mobile till August 20th. The email where our text messages are going to be sent. Now you do not need to have text messages sent um, from this uh, learning management system but just understand that you may want to talk to your students about if, if you post an announcement in your class whether it's face-to-face -face, online or blended you may want to go in and tell the students I recommend that you, um, you know, click text so that you can know when I send you an announcement and then if a test is due you can click you know uh, to get a text message and have your students um, uncheck different email messages that they don't want to receive and so that they can design their notifications settings into uh, something that will work for them so you can stop receiving the email messages and you can start um, receiving the messages that you want. So it's uh, pretty simple and uh, you can swing by any uh, LMS 100 uh, course to understand how to use Blackboard to learn better. Thanks and have a good summer.